Hi everybody, God loves you all. I'm going to read uh, Psalms 26 through 30. So, one day somebody's going to read or hear this. Uh, my brother and me are almost back in the book of Psalms, so he'll hear it soon. Eh? Alright, chapter 26 of David. Vindicate me, Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord and I have not faltered. Test me, Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind, for I have always been mindful of your unfailing love and have lived in reliance on your faithfulness. I do not sit with the deceitful, or, nor do I associate with hypocrites. I abhor the assembly of evildoers and refuse to sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, Lord, proclaiming aloud your praise and telling of all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. Do not take away my soul along with sinners. My life with those who are bloodthirsty and, the, and whose hands are wicked schemes, whose right hands are full of bribes. I lead a blameless life. Deliver me and be merciful to me. My feet stand on level ground. In the great congregation, I will praise the Lord. Psalm 27 of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That when the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. God is my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Teach uh, lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, but for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Psalm 28 of David. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy so, as I call to you for help. As I lift up my hands toward your most holy place, do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who, who speak cordially with their neighbors, but harbor mal malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done, and bring back on them what they deserve, because they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord and what his hands have done. He will tear them down and never build them up again. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Psalm 29, a Psalm of David. Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert at Kadesh. The, the voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Psalm 30. A, a, psalm, a song for the dedication of the temple of David. I will exalt you, Lord. For you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. You, Lord, 
brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name, for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gain if I am silenced, if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turn my welling into dancing. You remove my sackcloth and turn and, and, and clothe me with joy. That my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will, I will praise you forever. And amen. And that's uh, five chapters. Anyways, um, God loves you all. God bless. I hope you all have a great week. And just remember, I mean, we don't know at what moment that Christ could return. And I feel like we've got maybe at most 10 to 20 years. And so I know it's not a great, you know, quality. But uh, anyways, but as long as you hear the words, that's all that matters. Because I don't want people associating thinking that I'm the one, so-and-so. I'm just the one trying to plant a seed, and that's what my whole purpose for this whole, you know, channel is, is to, to plant seeds and to help people to grow and to, you know, read, not just talk about the Bible, not talk about the truth in the Word, but to read it. And anyone who doesn't read it isn't really, you know, like a real pastor or a real teacher or, you know, or like, I mean, come on, if you don't even pick up a Bible yourself, though, and read it, or like... Well, let's say this, like someone maybe watching this might grow and then maybe eventually they'll want to learn and then they'll want to learn their own, they'll want to read themselves. That's great. But don't use me to, to, to just give you something and then you take it from there and, you know, oh, I have faith, that's it. Like, that's the same thing as anyone who just goes to church on Sunday. So I encourage you yourself to read the Bible, even if it's three to five chapters a day, that's fine. I read ten myself, but... You know, like, you know, I kind of made it like a promise to God. That's what I'm going to do. That's my time. But this is a separate occasion, a separate thing every day. And I want to do this to get all the way through the 30, uh, the 30 days, the 150, chap uh, 150 uh, chapters of the Book of Psalms. It's a 30-day thing. So, I mean, I think it's good. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't think I have any views yet. So maybe somebody will see one of these videos and view it. And, uh like in God's time if it flourishes it flourishes and if not I'm at least you know out there putting myself out there and I talk